Well, good evening, friends. It's wonderful to see each and every one of you here. Um, if you're not in a seat, I would invite you to take a seat uh, and get ready uh, for a wonderful night of music. But why don't you put your hands together for the Appalachian Band under the leadership of Richard Woodrow. Thank you very much, Appalachian Band. So uh, Edward and I are going to be your MCs for the night. We're going to keep it short. But a couple of things before we get started. And the first thing is, from an audience standpoint, the school teacher in me takes over right now. Of course, whenever our uh, fellow campers are up here performing, we want to make sure that we're quiet. If you have a cell phone, that's awesome. Make sure that it is turned off. And please uh, put it away. Put it in a pocket. Put it under your chair so that it's not a distraction the rest of the evening. And we have our instruments with us because we have to have them with us. So just be careful with them. We don't want any you know, dropped cornets, dropped horns, tubas, that kind of stuff. It just, it's just bad for business. Now, all the pieces that you're going to hear tonight, uh, so what the Appalachian Band just played for us was fantastic. We clapped for it. Some pieces might be more meditational in nature, and if they are, you don't have to clap. Sometimes appreciation can be shown by just the contemplative quietness uh, that we show after it uh, when it causes us to think about our relationship with Jesus. Absolutely. In fact, actually, we have a picture of exactly how you should behave right here. <laughs> So throughout tonight, please be uh, paying attention. Please be uh, keeping alert and awake. Be like Drake. If in doubt, be like Drake. Wonderful. Be like Drake. That's what, short and sweet. That's easy. Now, uh, we are so pleased to welcome uh, all of our students here. We also have some special guests with us tonight. Uh, first of all, we want to recognize our Star Lake alumni at the back. Welcome old campers, prior campers. And as part of that, uh, we have uh, two special, uh, two special best, uh, two two special guests, uh, prior uh, directors of Star Lake Camp. Uh, we want to recognise Ron Wakes Norris and Charlie Baker. As well as our special guests at the back, we have some special guests who are here to uh, work with the kids this week. Uh, we have all the way from England, the ones with the funny accent. Uh, we have Gavin Lamplow and Stephanie Lamplow. Please greet them. 
And all the way from Canada, we want to welcome Rob Brown. That's my band. That's my band. Oh, you, nice. have them, you have them trained well. You have yes, them trained I well. Do. Yeah. So some more logistics for you tonight. If you look up on the screen, you'll see that it says what is happening right now, and at the bottom corner, what is coming up next. Use those eyes, use those brains, let's switch them on, and have a look and try to work out what's coming up next. If it's you, get ready to go up. Yes? Excellent. Now, if you all look uh, stage right, audience left, you see this beautiful door here? It now no longer exists. That door must not be gone through by anybody. That door, not there. Clear? Wonderful. At the end of your, um, uh, if you're in a band, at the end of your, uh, your set list, you'll stand up. It will be wonderful. You'll, you'll uh, receive all the applause. At which point, you will not sit back down. You will take your instrument and your music and your head out the back. Does that make sense? Wonderful. You must take all instruments, all music with you. Anything that is left will be sold uh, to help our... Um... No, it's going to it was, uh, World Services. Uh, this year it's going to... Um, it's a little camp in New Jersey. Uh, it's called Star Lake. We're hoping that hopefully they get running water uh, by the end of the summer. Uh, <laughs> if we're fortunate. Um, so please keep an eye out for that. So when you are done with your item, take your instrument, take your, sta uh, take your music, and head straight out the back for us. Other than that, I think it's time uh, for a prayer, perhaps, yes? Yes, let's pray. Uh, and in fact, we're very fortunate here. Uh, Rob is going to pray for us in his native language, uh, Canadian. Uh, so please, uh, attention please uh, to Rob as he prays. Bow your heads. Father God, what a great night we have to come here and praise you through music, Lord. We just think of everybody who's participating, whether they're playing their instruments or whether they're listening, Lord. We just pray that everything that is done tonight will be a prayer that is lifted up to you. And Lord, bless us as we try to bless you. All this we ask in Jesus' precious name. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. And so we'd like to welcome the Tabernacle Chorus. They can come and start making their places now. They will be performing two songs under the leadership of Dr. Harold Bergmeier. These are two American folk songs, both arranged by Aaron Copeland. Uh, we are going to enjoy the music of Zion's Walls and then Chingering Chaw. Now, Chingering Chaw is, uh, is a uh, folk uh, impersonation of a banjo, apparently. That's what Harold told me anyway. So please enjoy these two great items uh, by the uh, Tabernacle Chorus. One more time, let's give them some encouragement, please.
brothers gather round. Listen to this story, but the promise promise them and the promise glory. You don't need to fear if you have no money. You don't need none there to buy you milk and honey.
give it up for Victor Morales and friends. Now, most of the bands tonight have, uh, they've done, everybody has done an amazing job so far this week. Most of the bands have prepared just two items tonight. However, the next band under the leadership of our amazing Bud Streff Royal uh, scholarship winner, Rob, have prepared three items for tonight. Yes, that's right, Piquanica are on fire already. Uh, so, Piquanica are going to start us off by playing a wonderful piece called Glorious Day by Kevin Downing. Ramapo Chorus will be getting themselves ready to move quickly once this piece is over, which will then be followed by another piece by Piquanic, the classic Peter Graham piece, Ask. Please give it up for Piquanic.
as the vocal class come to their seats, the words for that one there, ask, 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 and it shall be given. Seek, 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 and you're sure to find. Knock, 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 and the door will be open. For God, God is so good and so kind. Ask where the bathroom is. Seek a new bathroom. And knock, hopefully it will be empty for you. Luckily, we have running water now, but we are very pleased to welcome up the Vocal School, a recent addition to the uh, Starlink Music Camp, a fantastic addition here, as well as our band and our worship major. We also have our vocal track as well. Led by Lily Finnegan, uh, Eric Jones, and our guest of the week, Stephanie Lamplow. Please would you welcome the vocal class.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Devontae Thompson, and we are the Hilltop Band. We're going to play two selections for you. The first selection the band will bring to you is a piece called Exotate Deo by Paul Sharman, which means sing to the Lord. And this piece is all about the reason we are gathered here this evening, which is to praise the Lord. Amen. It features three songs, which you will see the lyrics on the screen. The first is a popular hymn called Praise Him, which I'm sure many of you will be familiar with. The second song is We Are Here to Praise You, and the lyrics say this. We are here to praise you, lift our hearts and sing. We are here to give you the best that we can bring. And it is our love rising from our hearts. Everything within us cries, Abba, Father. Help us now to give you pleasure and delight, heart and mind and will that say, I love you, Lord. Every note that we will play is an act of praise to our Father. The final song featured in this piece is called, Then Will the Very Rocks Cry Out, and it says this, from the corners of creation come the people of the living God. Every tongue and every nation gather now to praise the Lord. This is Exotate Deo by Paul Sharman.
impossible to face When someone else instead of me Always seems to know the way The music that you are about to hear from the Hilltop Band is composed by Austrian composer Gustav Mahler. It's outside of our Salvation Army repertoire, so you might not hear tunes that you recognize or lyrics that you know. This is the finale from Symphony No. 2, which most people know as the Resurrection Symphony. Now, Gustav Mahler didn't compose this with Jesus' resurrection in mind. but the programmatic, thematic idea that he did compose it with is that dead things can come alive and be made new. I won't leave you with the whole devotional this evening, but the spiritual applications to that are very obvious and very wide. And any time the Hilltop Band plays music, I ask them to put themselves in the narrative. So I'll ask you to do the same thing this evening. What part of your spiritual life your spiritual walk might be dead and can be made new. In Ezekiel, at the Lord's command, dead, dry bones were brought to life. This is the finale from Symphony Number no. 2 by Gustav Mahler.
to be at Star Lake Camp, a camp that's so steeped in history, and to play the Star Lake March, probably one of the most recognizable marches in the Salvation Army repertoire. So let's welcome the Timbrels as they perform the Star Lake March.
and it's an absolutely beautiful ballad um, that he wrote while he was waiting for a certain young lady to return to him. Um, but whilst he was writing the song, he got really, really stuck on one particular line when it says, I will wait for you to accept my love. And then it was, I will wait for you to accept my. And the only word he could come up with was the word cross. And it was at that point he realized he was really writing about his relationship with God and that God was still waiting for him. And that's what he should be focusing on. So it's a beautiful, beautiful song that we've really looked at and examined the words of this week. And then we're going to then follow that with the Kev Larson version of If Crosses Come, which is a bit jazzier um, from the old classic that his dad wrote. And we're going to feature the flugel and our rhythm section and accompanying team with that. And we're also going to have Zoe as our soloist. We hope that you enjoy I Will Wait and If Crosses Come.
Thank you to uh, Steph and the Starlight Chorus uh, for those two beautiful songs. Uh, you really got something of the challenge and of the testimony uh, of those who were singing it. Uh, the final piece for the Starlight Band uh, this evening is a piece of music which has actually been around now uh, quite some time, published by the Salvation Army back in 2004, originally written uh, for the Household Troops Band of the Salvation Army. Uh, but it's one of those pieces that's actually rarely played, and so it's, uh, it comes back quite fresh. Uh, we've enjoyed looking at this uh, piece of music this week. It's music by uh, Richard Phillips, who uh, until recently was the bandmaster at the Kettering Citadel Band in, uh, in England, as well as being uh, the piano accompanist uh, for the International Staff Songsters. Um, in this uh, piece of music, uh, Richard uses um, a, a couple of tunes, some that are quite established within the church, um, and also, at the time of writing, uh, one which was an original melody uh, by Richard, but he's since penned uh, words to it, and uh, it's often featured by the International Staff Songsters as part of uh, one of his choral symphonies, Choral Symphony uh, Number no. 1. Uh, the whole theme of this uh, piece of music is based around uh, meta metamorphosis, so a complete change of physical form or substance. And he takes... Uh, Inspiration from Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 3 and verse 11, uh, where we read, He has made all things beautiful in his time. So therefore, obviously there's a link uh, that Richard uses, uh, the song, In your time, in your time, you make all things beautiful in your time. Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I have to sing be to you a lovely thing in your time. And then, as I say, also his original tune, uh, which has, uh, has these words associated with it. From Calvary, where true love was shown, Christ calls to me. I am not alone. For all time and for each day, his love is all I need to walk in his way. All I need, love. His love is all I need. It's been something of... Uh, a challenge and a testimony for us, and I hope it will be for you too as you uh, follow the words associated, which will appear on the screens, and listen as the Starlake Band play to you Metamorphosis.
Well, that was fabulous. And now it's time for a little something different. Star Lake Pep Song. Well, we have serving on our staff three individuals who have been laked. All right? And I think that they're better off because of it. We go way back to, like, I think it was 1989, when the bandmaster of the Pequonic Band was actually grabbed and dragged down to the lake and thrown in. Rob, come on up. He's right up there on the platform there. He's the first. The next one was in 2003, and this was one of my first and a very spectacular laking. Captain Elisha Moretz. All right, yes. If you haven't seen that film, Elisha and I both looked different way back then. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say. And then a few years after that, Somebody named Gavin Whitehouse was late. <laughs> so come on up here, Gavin. All right, so these are the three experts. These are the three who have been laked, who are going to help us along here. But my friends, there are those who have not been laked yet. Okay. And who cut me off here? What's going on? Oh, that's a little bit better. Thank you. Those who have not been laked yet. And one of them is our special guest, Gavin. You're going to come on up here and you're going to join us. I understand that you've been working on this. He, he hasn't talked to me very much since the last time I had a conversation with him. You might want to be on that end. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make it easy for you, okay? All right, just, you might want to be on that end. All right, I can't have two Gavins together. All right. <laughs> and another who might potentially be late would be our Eric Leitzen Scholarship winner, Andrew. Come on up here now. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Don't, don't give him your spot. Don't give him your spot. All right, and I am no respecter of age. All right, I want you to know that I am absolutely no respecter of age. And there's another, not so old, actually quite very young person who is on the verge of possibly being leaked. Uh, Avery Whitehouse. (laughs) 
Yeah, hey, hey, Avery, come on over here and stand next to your dad. I don't, I, oh, oh, stand next to your dad, would you, please? Please, please. You know, I, I want you to feel some measure of safety, even though it's superficial. All right. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, campers, now we've done the pep song twice on one night. The first time, it was pathetic. The second time, we could have done better. Now, one of the ways that we could have done better, and some of my spies told me, and I didn't notice because I was just so wrapped up in the whole thing, some of you were clapping your hands on the first time through. No, no. We don't do that. All right? So just keep that in mind. I gave you all the instructions. Follow them. Do them well. I have eyes all over this building. You folks in the back, you alumni, remember, I am no respecter of age. All right? So here we go. We're going to see if these folks can give us the words, one line at a time. All right, Andrew, give us the first line. Hail Star Lake Camp. He has it. Very good. Yes. All right. Here you go, Gavin. You can do this. The music camp for me. Yes, he's got it. Woo. All right, here we go now. Razzle dazzle, rah, rah, rah. Even Elisha got it. This is great. All right. Oski waski, sis boom bah. All right. All right. Now, Gavin. Sound a cheer for dear old SLC. All right, now, Avery, I'm putting you on the spot here. You gotta know the next line. Give it to me. Oh, Avery, all right, all right. This is a two, three, four. And then we come back down to this way. Keep an eye on that kid. All right, are you ready? You know what to do? Here we go. Hail Star Lake Camp. All right, very good. Here we go. The place of harmony. All right, very good. You know, back in the old days, it was actually harmony. Now it's something else. All right. For it's uh, one letter at a time now, folks. S T A. I do it is or mine? The next letter, please. L. R. 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 <laughs> We'll give him a chance. He had one of the letters, even though it was in the wrong place. All right, now you, he gave you yours. L A K E. Avery, you know, you're going to make me out to be a very, very mean person. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. And it's M yes. U S I C. It's the camp for me! Now make sure when we get to the very end, when you jump off of your chairs very carefully, you shout Star Lake. All right, you folks in the help, we go back to your seats. When I say Razzle Dazzle, you say! <laughs> when I say Oski Waski, you say! <laughs> Razzle Dazzle! <laughs> Oski Waski! <laughs> All right, now sing it! Sound a cheer for dear old SLC. Two, three, four, and Charlie Cam. Four is F E A R L A K E N U S I C. Four is F E Well, thank you, Phil, for that, and thank you, everyone, for your work on the pep song this evening. Uh, hopefully there are no more lectures about how to do the pep song from Phil. There we go. Only if we need it. So uh, just to wrap up this evening, I just want to let you know about a couple things. Uh, first of which, our next uh, program that you were able to attend, 
campers, you can attend all programs, but our guests uh, is on Thursday evening at 8 p.m. That's our soloist night mixed with a little feature of the choruses. Uh, you can come at 7.30. You'll hear a few bands uh, ahead of time as well there. Uh, and then on Saturday morning, the awards ceremony is at 9.30 a.m. down in the dining room. So if you want to attend that down in the dining room, there's a concert at 10.30 just following that. And then the final festival is at 11 a.m. on Saturday, right? So just remember all those things. Uh, the course of the week. Just want to thank a few people tonight. Um, I'm sure you can all agree that we had exceptional groups tonight, exceptional performances, which means exceptional leaders. So I'm going to read off a whole bunch of names. You're going to wait till the end, uh, and then you're going to clap, right? We have Gavin Lamplow, Stephanie Lamplow, Matt Lund, Devante Thompson, Alexis Dill, Rob Brown, Lily Finnegan, Eric Jones, Harold Bergmeier, Jessica Pineda, and Brianna Romulus. I think I got everybody. Why don't you give it up for all of our leaders? And in addition to that, we certainly want to thank uh, all of our piano players this evening as well. You'll hear a couple names again, but we have Eric Dina, Gavin Whitehouse, Devante Thompson, Lorena Lance, Eric Jones, and Lily Finnegan. Why don't you give it up for all the piano players this evening? Mm. And how about one more shout out for Victor Morales as well on the guitar? Just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, if you are a student here and you have uh, meds this evening, make sure you visit the nurse who is in the back uh, corner there. Uh, snacks are next, and then we have Vespers uh, at 11 p.m. But once again, just want to thank you all for being here tonight for a wonderful evening of worship and praise to our Lord. And now Eric's going to come and lead our choral benediction. Would you stand with me? We're going to sing this two times, one time with the piano, and then the last time a cappella, and I'd invite you to sing out nice and strong.